What's good, folks? Hey, you done seen it. I got a good one for you. Super easy. For those of you guys like that seafood, I got something for you. Today, I'm getting ready to show you how to level up your crab cakes. Let's get it. Now, you see this cluster of ingredients right here? Listen, this along with that, and here go the crab meat. This all goes together. Now, you know my motto is, you know, taking the mystery out of cooking, right? That's it right here. We're going to simplify it, right? So if you take this and you get everything measured out and you put everything to the side as you need them, it just makes it so much easier, folks. I know it seems simple, but a lot of people don't do it. All right, so that takes care of that. And then back here, what I did was I just kept it this way. You guys can see the mustard, the mayonnaise, you know what I mean? And then right here we got some horseradish. And then listen, I'm going to be using this also. This right here, this that boil bomb. I'm gonna save it, we'll talk about it when I get ready to use it. But if you don't have this, folks, listen, you gotta get it. So listen, I like to have bell pepper inside of mine also. The bell peppers is completely optional. All right, so look, I'm not gonna bore you guys. Look, I'm just gonna cut these down, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and dice them up. Now you cut them as big as you like them. For me, I'm gonna show you how I like to have them. You know, just like this. Okay, so look, this is what I did. I went ahead just off camera, you know, chopped up, chopped up my parsley, right? So look, you want to get yourself a bowl? Look, real simple. I'm gonna just start by cracking my eggs. All right, now we whisk. Now we add our garlic pepper seasoning, lemon juice, whisk, and now our mayo. And we whisk again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my bell peppers. Remember, I tell you, this part right here, it's up to you. Trust me though, if you like a, a different, a good flavor profile, you wanna put that in there. Now I'll just mix this up just a little bit. You don't have to like mix it like that. I, this is just the way I cook. And now I'm gonna add the breadcrumbs. For the boil bomb, check that out right there. Hey. This right here is gonna do it. I'll probably put in about a quarter cup, right? This is where we're gonna get a lot of flavor from, right? Okay, so I want you guys to take a look. I got rid of the whisk because it gets a little bit on the thick side, right? And I'm not trying to mash it up. So as I fold this over, listen, it's the boil bomb that gives it so much more flavor. If you're looking for something that's get you as, as close to authentic as possible, you want to try it. You guys got to trust me. Look, I'm a believer. I just want you to look at that right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the parsley, just add a little bit here, fold it over just a little bit more. I only put just like a little bit in there. You can see I left some on the side. That's because that's got a place for also. So now that, now that I got just halfway mixed up, here go our crab meat. Take this, add this here. You guys can see how it's coming together now, right? So we just want to make sure we get this incorporated. And then I'm gonna take the rest of my parsley now and add that, right? And now we just mix. Now, once I get all of this mixed, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put some saran wrap over the top of the bowl. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let it refrigerate, you know, and firm up before we make our patties, right? We gonna put it in there for about, I'm gonna say, I like two hours. You can't do it in uh, one hour, but two hours is best. So let me finish this. Let me get it covered, put it in the refrigerator and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so look, it's been two hours. This came out. I took a fork and kind of like just fluffed it up, right? You guys can take a look at this right here. This is nice. Now, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the consistency. Look, I'm just gonna make a ball like this, just with my hand, and you can just see. Look how it sticks together, look. That right there, that's key, right? So now we just go in here. Obviously, I got a set of gloves on. We're gonna make these about like yay big. Best thing to do is just make a ball like that. And then we just go ahead and mash them. You see this right here? This is what we want, folks. Now I'm gonna give you guys a real heads up, right? I'm gonna put that there. What I'm doing is I'm bringing my pan up to uh, up to temp. I'm gonna go ahead and melt my butter. Let me get this going right now. Once this melts, then I'll put that patty in there. But I wanna tell you that while we look at this patty right here, Listen, my mouth is watering because I tasted it, folks. Listen, that's so underrated. You got to taste while you cook, you know, while you prepare, right? This way you get the right flavor. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up, because I'm going to go ahead and bring this right here. You see this right here, folks? Don't sleep. 
You know what I mean? Uh, I do favors for people out there. Like, you know, when I say favors, I mean like, hey, just talk about your product because listen, it's right. That right there is fire, folks. Hey, it just took it to a whole new level. Butter's all melted. Now we just go ahead and put it down right there. Now you want them to kind of like be the same consistency and look the same, right? You can make them as flat as you like to. I like mine to be a little bit more on the thick side. So you just want to make them uniform, right? This right here. And look how they stay together. I like this right here, folks. Hey, and it smells incredible too. We're about ready to come off. You know, with the crab cakes, we forming that crust on the bottom. Look, now it's come time to make that ramen live, right? Hey, did I pronounce it right? You know, there's so many people say it all kind of different ways. Sometimes I say it, it seems like somebody corrected me. Then when I say, am I saying it right? They say, I got it. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys let me know down in the comment section, comment section below. Hey, listen, if it sounds like it's hard for me to talk right now, look, I didn't have one of these already, folks. And when I tell you they fire, they fire. And I'm, I ain't gonna be honest with you. Listen, everybody can make a crab cake, but this right here, this is my new secret ingredient right here. Hey, I'll put everything down in the description box down below and in the number one comment. Hey, do yourself a favor and get some. Hey, do me a favor, let him know so maybe I can get him on the team. Tell him AB sent you. When you get this, you man, fire. We had about. Hey, listen, it's about the consistency consistency that you want. All I can tell you is this right here is fire. Hey, it got a little bite. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I might give a little, a little bit, you know, here and there. That's because, look, I ate one of these already. And I want to tell you, it does the trick. It took me down, deep down south, down in them bayous. You see this color right here? I know that I probably won't add too much more to it. This right here is the way it's going to be. I don't know if my mic gonna pick this up, but I want you to check this out. Listen to this, y'all. Listen. That tell me right now that the bottom got a nice little crust on it and it's sliding across the way this, you know, pan is made. That's how I know it's right. I done already turned this fire out. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these on this. And then uh, we finna dip in that and we finna make it happen, folks. Hey, so you just see me put them on a plate Hey, you know what? It's really nothing to talk about. All I can tell you is, listen. Oh, and I got to tell you, listen. I use chalaos also. I used a garlic pepper seasoning too. Everything on this was on, you know, just on point. And really what I like to do on this channel is just to recommend when I find something out here in the world and it's right, I just like to expose you guys to it. Listen, by no means you got to go out and get it, nothing like that. I could just tell you, if you try this, I promise you probably won't go back. I can find a, probably another 300 uses for this right here. Also, this is fire. Hey, with that being said, listen, I'm not going to continue to over talk and do nothing like that. I'm going to go ahead and just, ooh, my goodness. Ain't nothing like when you put that crust on there. You know what I mean? I don't want to drop no crab in there, so we're going to go ahead and get a little bit of this ramen line. You know what I mean? Ooh. <clears throat> mm. Cheers, folks. Mm. Mm. The bell peppers was a, a nice addition now I want you to notice something I reached over here to my left if you watch all my videos I usually tell you hold on and go get me a napkin the reason I got this over here because I got maybe about that much left of the two crab cakes I didn't had already and listen when they fire they fire folks now wait a minute now I had to give me a little water I can tell you this right here that this right here, don't let it fool you. Hey, they use the word bomb for a reason. Listen, the spice is just right. This is a whole lot of concentrate. That's all I can tell you. You guys, and it's authentic. If you ask me, that's my opinion. I want you guys to just go ahead and try it. You know what, and like I said, let him know that I'm on his team too. Maybe he'll come back, send us a, you know, another big giant sample of something and then we can just get that out there too. Hey, but with that being said, if you're looking for some crab cakes that are just better than the regular old same old same old, you gotta try this right here, this whole complete recipe. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out here, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm out. Peace.